100 young change makers, 25 teams, a 50,000 rupee grant. Mentored by industry stalwarts at every step. One month of on-ground hard work to implement 25 change making ideas. The children minds is the most fertile mind. They are the future generation. Ultimately, uh, they have to decide which type of world they want to live. The successful first edition of the Happy India campaign and initiative of India First Life Insurance and the achievements of the 25 student teams will be showcased in the Young Change Makers Compendium. In the daily routine of school and home, when they got something like a, a campaign that we introduced, they felt challenged. You know, I think what they felt was a sense of empowerment. There was an eagerness to prove themselves. The initial response has been extremely encouraging. Uh, we have achieved our objective, not uh, just of uh, creating some good ideas, which by itself is an end worthy of achieving, but also in terms of um, getting participation of people. Inexperienced children who have never done this before have their innocence helped them in fact to tackle these problems because they have not had any preconceived notions about the community. Each of these teams are creating the change they want to see in society. A lot of heart and mind has gone into conceiving this uh, project. Thought was of doing something for the children, impacting the lives of not only these school children but their community and I think that has what has made this project successful. Last week, we followed the achievements of some of the teams in the field of education. This week, we take a look at young change makers and their unique ideas that are aimed at reducing our carbon footprint. Where adults fail to understand the importance of cleanliness, these young children are spreading the message of keeping our surrounding clean and free of disease. Vijaywada's team Inspiration approached the village of Kosala where residents disposed of their waste in heaps near the highway. Whenever we are coming or going to the school, you, may, you can see that uh, beside the road it just sees, uh, seems like a dumping yard. So when we are passing through it, we, a very bad order is generating and it is becoming a very problematic situation for us. We introduced our project to make the people aware of the pollution and not to make all the waste to throw outside the houses and make them to prepare the manure inside their houses. Our project is dust bin provided along with the decomposition pit. We have to keep all the vegetables or that is waste of vegetables, vegetable peels, onion peels etc. and waste of the cooked food except plastic into the dust bin. So when the trash is passed into the pit, uh, it will decompose there and will be formed as manure which is useful for our plants. Team Inspiration's waste management system helped about 25 families in the village. The fact that uh, the, the rural people were convinced about this was because of the fact that it was utilizing or it was helping them in terms of uh, giving them fertilizer back. So the whole idea was to first of all even let them understand the concept of what dustbin is all about and then tell them dustbin is not only about collection of garbage or waste it can also the waste can also yield something which can be used for uh, for for the purpose of uh, you know fertilizing your lands and you know and have better crops looking at a different type of waste to decompose are mumbai's team challengers we un we undertook three issues wastage of paper pet animal excretion and garbage disposal so we could often see garbage lying around here and there so we came up with the idea of installing dustbin at uh, easily accessible areas and what we have done uh, for the newspaper drive is everyone is going to collect the, I mean, make the newspapers and they are going to give it uh, to our houses. We have uh, told the children to make the newspaper bags. After that we are going to sell it to the vendors. The team also approached pet owners with the concept of an animal waste digester. Actually, uh, we used to see that uh, when pet owners used to come with their pet out, there was no place if animals wanted to poop. 
we realized this issue and we thought that we could uh, work on it and dig a small pit in which animals can poop so that we could maintain the hygiene of our surroundings they have also educated everybody so that what we expect at the end of it is that no animals will be allowed to poop anywhere and their owners will be responsible for collecting that and converting that through a digester project so that again utility is getting created out of waste vijaywada's dream clean students of jakumpure village not only spread basic awareness on health and sanitation through rallies and clean up drives but also wrote to the zilla parishad president to arrange for a clean up mechanism for the village health and hygiene play an important role in the development of a country the people are not aware of uh, what are the benefits of good sanitation when we first visited here we got to know that the sub center is damaged so no nurse is staying there so, so to get cured for common ailments also they have to travel to vijayawada or nunna which is 8 from 8 kilometers from here so our first objective was to remodel the sub center we found out that 30% of the houses did not have individual household latrines according to nirmal bharat abhiyan the government has promised to provide the money for construction of the toilets so we pressurize the government to implement the same abhiyan in this village the villagers should have better health conditions than they have now and we want each house to have a toilet we've uh, conducted uh, two or three cleanliness drives in the village we clean the roads and uh, we have surveyed the school lot uh, and we're planning to build a toilet there once we are completed with this village we don't want to stop we want to adopt uh, another village and not only health and cleanliness uh, we can, we uh, we are keen to select other topics like education as well as the financial inclusion also nearly 1.2 billion people do not have access to toilets at home and this statistic is a huge concern for these children Bhopal's team J took the issue of cleanliness right to the root and approached eight schools to set up bal panchayats. We are also dealing not only with sanitation and toilets and then uh, but we are also dealing with provision of clean drinking water. We are including three issues here: health and cleanliness, sexual harassment, and uh, lack of education. Girls drop out of schools because there are not proper sanitation facilities. Uh, women and girls go to relieve themselves early in the daytime or during the night. During this time, they face a lot of problems like sexual harassment. They become easy victims of sexual harassment. We are establishing bal panchayats and motivating students to own responsibilities. We have to the next schools to implement our idea in the first stage. We thought it would take time because awareness creating is very difficult. But our children, we, which we called here, they responded very well. Most of them agreed to work with us. Students are eager to take up responsibilities. What they did was not just guiding or basically suggesting ideas. They can actually took it on their own hands. Now that's the best part of it. These bal panchayats will focus on identifying gaps in sanitation in schools, provide the missing facilities like toilets, taps, and basins, and most importantly, help maintain these facilities. Team Indian Springs from Vishakhapatnam had a unique take on the issue of sanitation. They came up with a solution of installing biodegradable toilets. When we personally follow some cleanliness and hygiene then only our surroundings be clean and there will be no diseases open defecation cause many diseases like diarrhea cholera so we feel that uh, to eradicate this problem there should be some toilets in a such a big uh, city that uh, visakhapatnam there there is a place with no toilets that is krishnaraipuram so we want to build an a biodigested toilets this every slug and all will be treated it's order free and pathogen free so there will be no diseases we hope that we will succeed by doing this project we will hope that the government will be inspired of our work and they too will help these people to get some facilities they can be a community toilet or uh, and there also maybe anganwadi toilets which can be built within the village and then once this happens maybe the other hamlets also can uh, started doing this or maybe converting the old uh, soaking pits into into bio toilets these children are taking the message of swachh bharat to the common man and moving one step closer to a greener and cleaner india lack of awareness availability and affordability is causing an increase in health problems and lack of nutrition in most indians two teams decided to take the first step towards a healthier society mumbai's team we change discovered through their research that vegetables available to the underprivileged families were not of good quality 
project is basically working towards a healthy India, the Swast Bharat Mission as we call it. And we wish that India becomes healthy because a healthy India is when there will be a happy India. There's a lot of population in the slums and if these people eat healthy, then India can prosper to another level. We actually did some surveys around slum areas and we saw that the, the quality of vegetables they get isn't a good quality. On research, we have got to know that the slum market price of onions and potatoes is worth 20. We are trying to sell it at the rate of 15 which is lower than 20 and at a very good quality. So uh, they will have good food at lower price. So we have a cross subsidization model. We buy uh, vegetables from the wholesale markets. We take it to upper middle class people and we sell it to them at the market rate. Now whatever profit we, uh, we earn over there, we use that to reduce the cost of uh, the lower class people's uh, uh, vegetables. With over 150 families now getting access to quality vegetables, Team We Change have roped in Green Charitable Trust to take their cause of Swast Bharat forward. Vijaywada's Swach Raksha Yojana, on the other hand, focused on providing basic health care facilities in the remote areas of Poranki. The health comes from the cleanliness. So we started first our project from the cleanliness. Uh, we found a lot, uh, lot of waste dumped on the road and littered on the road. We want to provide the dustbins at every street and also we thought of to distribute the dustbins. In order to help check the spread of disease in the area, the team organized a cleanliness drive and medical camp. We have decided to do a medical camp because uh, the surrounding people can know that what problems they are facing. There is a good response from the people when we when we went to each and every house. They are very happy because uh, they said that you voluntarily are coming and helping us. The medical camps help provide the villagers with free medicines and vaccines, and over 35 cataract surgeries were conducted free of cost. From this project, we want to help the people and we want to bring the change in the society. Coming up next, these young minds take action against the destruction of the environment and the ardent use of plastic. Our environment has paid a heavy price for our need for urbanization and technical advancements. These young change makers of India have decided it is time to take action and go green. Team Indian youngsters from Hyderabad started their green revolution closer to home with a plantation drive. We are going to plant saplings in our surroundings because there is less greenery in our area. Plant is very much required in our, in our surroundings because of this pollution. So plants sucks all the pollution and helps us for fresh air which is very much required for a human being. We selected few areas where there is no greenery and where there are no plants. I hope that the people will get motivated and start growing saplings. This green revolution saw 30 households work towards building a greener society. Team Earth from Vishakapatnam decided to go clean, taking forward the Prime Minister's Clean India initiative. I want to bring some change in my country, then only I can make my people happy. If cleanliness is not maintained, our health is not maintained, and environmental will be destroyed. Before we have surveyed for this project, then we chose this bus stop, Pralatpuram bus stop, and, and it is very dirty. There we con reconstructed the bus stop. We want to provide dustbins in that bus stop. We cannot buy health uh, by money, uh, so we, if we will keep clean, we can be healthy. If we get the chance to clean another bus, another bus stop, we'll select another public places and clean them like this one. These young change makers inspired over a hundred locals to join their Clean and Green India Drive. With a different view on protecting the environment, Hyderabad's Roaring Soldiers came up with a possible solution to the scarcity of fuel and its rising costs. Our project is making fuel from rubber tires. Many people are burning tires outside and they are not using them. So we are recycling this. We can sell this part of soil in cheaper rates. It is most used for all uh, farming, burning purposes. For generators also, uh, gensets and for vehicles also it is used. We get fuel in less, less cost. If successfully implemented, this idea has the potential of reducing the cost of industrial fuel by 15 to 20 percent. We were able to convince a company 
to do a pilot run so they took a day's production out from this and got some numbers out so put in a ton of tires and what comes out so they were able to show that it can substitute diesel instead of burning the tire by itself plus you get also some useful steel and other things one of the biggest issues that india is facing is the increased use of plastics huge amounts of plastic get dumped every year taking more than 300 years to decompose alarmed by this statistic were jaipur's team green scouts their plan of action included using old clothes to make bags plastic is harmful for uh, the environment for the people for the animals it is uh, harmful to everybody the project is uh, all about removing of plastics and replacing them with cloth bags we have conducted nukkar nataks awareness programs to you know spread awareness in jaipur city we have got a very good response we have targeted the students of our classes and our friends because children are the one who can take an initiative to do something about the plastic bags not only were these kids selling the cloth packs for value added incentives with their drive they even helped generate employment a similar move by mumbai's genius minds of innovation saw vegetable vendors and shopkeepers take a pledge not to sell or use plastic bags around uh, 269 tons of plastic is uh, thrown in the sea every year people are just using plastic for their own need but they are not thinking what is happening to the animals who, who are dying because of this plastic we wanted to implement this project uh, to a large scale so for that we had to reach out to as many shopkeepers as, as we could majority of the shopkeepers listened to us they stopped the use of plastic bags Vijayawada's team Nation Crown had to reduce our burden on the environment by dissuading people from the use of plastics and promoting the use of eco-friendly bags. Invention of plastic may be a great scientific and technological achievement but its disastrous effects are killing and will kill thousands and thousands of living organisms we want to make our india green and pollution free india to implement a project we did rallies we went around this one town we distributed some cloth bags paper bags to shops and educated them to stop the use of plastic bags mumbai's team fantastic 4 found an alternative use for discarded plastics Fantastic Four tackled two problems with one solution of making durable and cheaper roads using waste plastics. The road development project is actually is a mixture of two projects. One is plastic waste management. Once once the plastic comes into the system, we don't know how to destroy it. The other problem is in a monsoon heavy city like Bombay, potholes on the road maintenance is one issue. they are addressing both the problems with the one single uh, idea they shred all the plastic very thin plastic into small 2 mm by 3 mm and this will be added to the aggregate what we call the in the uh, the cement and the pebbles when they are heated up to 160 degree centigrade you throw this the shredded material onto the aggregate and because of the heat it immediately gets coated and forms as uh, a cover uh, a plastic cover on each and every pebble there and this when you add the uh, heated bitumen and then lay the road it becomes a kind of a waterproof road realizing that traditional energy resources are depleting at an alarming rate hyderabad's team champs took up the responsibility of promoting the use of solar based appliances in india scarcity of electricity is more so to avoid that electric uh, problem we had decided to choose selected solar appliances we realized that this solar appliances can save our electricity and money also we have done a survey in 20 to 30 houses so most of them have given us very good response we have said them the benefits of the solar appliances and they are uh, uh, most of them are willing to buy the solar appliances it is eco friendly and it is easy to use and it is uh, affordable the impact that team champs had was that they managed to convince 35 households to experiment with solar appliances mumbai's team next sought to make a change in a different way with a large number of young indians unemployed the students reached out to the seasonally and cyclically unemployed in the first few weeks we conducted a baseline survey in which we interviewed people on the streets to find uh, like how if they were un, 
unemployed. So we found some people who were unemployed. We are focusing mainly on the unskilled people and we are trying to find them basic jobs to increase their standard of living. So we've contacted about lots of employers and we have had positive response. The applications we got were basically people who wanted permanent jobs because they wanted a sustainable income so they can support their family. With each camp we've increased the number. The, when it began with the first we received barely a few entries, maybe around less than 10. Then we want to 15 and then 20 and now 60. So it, it's going exponentially and I, and I think it's got a long way to go. Once these 40 days are over, we will be handing this over to an NGO which will be charging the employers for a five or six employees, they have to take a fee from the employer and that fee will help them to sustain the project. Over a thousand resumes were registered with the team in the 40-day period of implementation. If you look at each of these ideas that we got, you, know, you realize how the children are willing to look at it with a completely fresh perspective. The skepticism that the adults have, you know, children don't have that skepticism. Most of the ideas that have come is through the children, but even the solutions of the problems that we faced while the projects were getting implemented came from them. We are surprised for the fact that uh, the 11 to 16 year kind of uh, age band is so much aware about what's going on in the society. We were able to look at all the issues that are facing us with a whole new light. This has been our first baby step and we've received outstanding uh, response. Uh, it's been overwhelming for us and the fact that this, this has validated our own belief that we can bring about a change encourages us immensely. With an outstanding response, the first edition of the Happy India campaign was a successful step towards creating change and promoting a better India.